sure your boyfriend have not called today. What happened? That one. Eh? Uh-huh. Can you imagine? He called me yesterday and said it's over. Ah! Why? That he's in love with someone that he wants to end up with. He cannot end up with me. So it means after wasting two good years with Kelvin, he still ended up not marrying you. Babe, see, I don't understand. Why won't Kelvin marry me after being with me for so long? And to be with you for so long, you know, I'm not freezing to marry you. After all, Otelola's daughter wasted five years in business school. I say ended up as a DJ. My friend, my father is not Otelola, and I'm not copy. Obviously, you wish. My dear, leave this girl. Your own is even better. My stupid boyfriend is broke from January to December. I told this boy to get me my cream. He said he does not have money. Mm-hmm. I had to reduce my cream. Now I'm using a cream of 60,000 naira. He still said he does not have money. 60,000 naira for all about the cream? Eh? Uh-huh. Wait, though. Auntie, do you have skin cancer? Eh? <laughs> success. <laughs> because I'm not understanding. See, success. I'm an expensive girl. Any guy that cannot afford me doesn't deserve to be with me. Period. My dad, as I was saying, it's not even that one that is paining me. The one that is paining me now is that tomorrow is my dad's 56th birthday. And I told him to get my dad a cake. He said he does not have money. Come on, cake. It's not his mate that is getting their girlfriend's parents, iPhone and Benz. Like, I don't understand. So he's trying to say my dad should know he's a cake to celebrate his 56th birthday. Come on, cake. At 26, he's still broke. At 26, his mates are rich and he's broke. Little. Auntie, you expect your boyfriend to be rich in his 20s. Uh-huh. But your father is still broke in his 50s. <laughs> Auntie, fear God. Fear God. Fear God! Look, success, my dad is not broke. Being rich is not what you have in your pocket. It's what you have inside of you. Okay. What you have inside you. Uh-huh. I will let your father use his kidney and buy cake for his bed. <laughs> but don't you have kidney inside him? <laughs> <laughs> so as you are now, you have something inside you and you cannot use and buy body cream for yourself. Ah. Motivational speaker. It's people like you that is misleading you on social media. You have something inside you and you are looking like low body shawarma. <laughs> Seventeen Ukebu Street. Mm, no. Seventeen Ukebu Street doesn't sound familiar to you. Mm-mm. Okay, let's go. Emanuela, who are those people? The police people. Don't mind them. They're looking for information. Say kidnapping now, our compad now. Nobody's here. What did you say? Nothing, no. What did you say? I said they say kidnapping now, our compad now. Nobody's here. What? Are you sure? Yes. You are very sure? Yes. Where do you live? She lives at number 8 EK Street. Number 8 EK Street? Yes. Tangoska, Tangoska. There's a kidnapping situation. I repeat, there's a kidnapping situation. Send me their backup at number 8 EK Street. I'll meet them there. Now. I need them now with a next door rifle. Get those keys! Let us show us the way! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Be fast! I need more backup! I need more backup! Send the Air Force, the Army, the Navy, in fact, every Air and Land Force! Send them now! Send them now! A team of SAS soldiers are already at the location with an extra rifle. The rest of the team are on their way. Be careful! Okay, roger that! We'll be there soon! Hey, you guys should be careful. Keys, stay behind me. You, get your rifle. <laughs> I'll go in first. You and the keys stay behind me. The two of you will follow. Remember, keep your hands down. These guys are dangerous. They are very dangerous. You, not. You, east. Move. Clear. Advance, advance. Keep your hands down. Keep your hands down. Sir, 
I didn't see anybody. You didn't see anybody. I didn't see anybody. What about you? Sir, nobody's there. You didn't see anybody. Sir, nobody's there. I searched the place properly. Nobody's in this compound. Nobody. Kid, come here. Where are the kidnappers? Which kidnappers? You said there's a kidnapping in your compound. Yes. Look at the kids here. How? This is a kid. He is taking his nap. <laughs> <laughs> not again! Not again! <laughs> what happened now? <laughs> hey! God! Where are the kidnappers? There's no kidnapper here. Uh -uh. Boy, you told me there is a kidnapping in this compound. Okay. Actually, the kid told me that there is a kidnapping in this compound. Did you tell him there is a kidnapping in this compound? Yes, look at the kidnapping. How? I said kidnapping. This is a kid. He is taking his nap. All these two people studied English language. Oh, God. Or did they use French to teach you people English? <laughs> all you need stand down. I repeat, all you need stand down. It was a false alarm. Is that why you people are doing wah 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 everywhere? Miracle. I am going inside the ones. I just told you that it's a kidnapping in my compound. You just be calling. You just call everybody inside my compound. I don't know what you people are doing here. Let my landlord don't catch you people. <laughs> You people to leave here. So says, let's go. Let them be acting the return of Commando Part 2. <laughs> so you are still smoking weed? Okay, it's not weed. Shut too. up! <laughs> you made me call the Air Force, call the Nigeria Police, I called the Navy, the Army, even NAVDAC. <laughs> Sergeant, disarm him. <laughs> now move. Let's try and verify your information. Come on, move. Move it. Come on, move. Drug addict. Take him to the van. Come on, move. Put him in the van. Take him to the van. Just tell them number three in Vigo Street. Number three. No, no, no. Every KK man knows the place. Take a drop. Don't worry. I'll pay. I'll pay. When you want to start coming, just let me. Let you know what? Hey, thank you, afternoon. That, that good morning. <laughs> hey. So you're inviting a woman to this house, Abby? No, I'm not inviting a woman. It's a boy I'm talking to. I'm just describing how the place is to him. I'm not even saying. If I catch you with any woman in this my house, I will kill you. <laughs> Go and get me my keys, my friend. You better look for money and pop this your nonsense here. Mm, okay, sir. Hello, Siri. My father just left now. And you can start coming now. Actually, your daddy said you should start bringing people to his house. Come on, carry your small head and mind your business. Small rats covered in human flesh. <laughs> no, it's nothing. It's just our neighbor's daughter. Please start coming now. Hello? Hello? Honey? I'm telling the man number three in Vigo, but the man said I don't know me I'm going to. Ha! Huh. What nonsense is that? Please give the man the phone. Give the man the phone. Hello? Hello? Keke? Good morning. Good morning. Please, eh, bring that girl to number three in Vigo Street. Oga, I think there's a problem with this address. Are you sure it is number three in Vigo Street or somewhere else? I said number three in Vigo Street. Are you not a Keke man again? Are you new in the business? Oga, I'm not sure of this address you're giving to me. Look, Oga, don't annoy me. Just bring that girl straight down to number three in Vigo Street. And let me warn you, if anything happens to that girl, I'll make sure I arrest you. If you like, they ask me stupid question. Uh, 
Hello? Hello? Where are you now? Honey, I don't understand this stupid keke man. No. He brought me to one of Igwe Street instead of Igwe Street. Give him the phone. Give him give him the phone. Hello, Oga. Come, Oga. I said in Vigwe Street, not all Vigwe Street. What's wrong with you? What's your problem? Are you a kidnapper? Wait, dude. Sorry. Who is this? You asking me who is this? Sorry. I will teach you a lesson. I will chase you out of this town. Don't joke with me, oh. All these stupid drivers. Hello, where are you now? Honey, I'm at your gate. I don't know what this stupid keke man is saying. What is he saying? I don't know. I don't understand what he's saying. Please come and pay him. They are coming there right now. Where is the stupid keke man? What is the stupid keke man saying? Useless keke man that doesn't know where common number three in Vigo Street is. Where is the stupid keke man that doesn't know his Honey, job? Look at this stupid, stupid keke man that take me around the whole place. <laughs> Old man just be taking me around the whole town. That 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 good afternoon. That 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 good morning. Ah ah. Honey, why is time average? If I catch you with any woman in this my house, I will kill you. Ah. Honey, what is happening? Who is your honey? <laughs> Perfect. What are you doing? Oh no, don't use that one. Use this one and vlog him. My son, I said stop worrying. He's well with your soul. My son, fear not! Pastor, I got a job. Praise God! No, 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 praise God, no, praise God. <laughs> he paid money into my account. Hallelujah! No, 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 hallelujah, no, hallelujah. He's an evil man. My son, it doesn't matter. My son, bring your tie to me and nothing will happen to you. The Bible says no evil form or fashion against you shall prosper. This is the wealth of the Gentiles being transferred to the Jews. My son, do them the oracle of God. My son, pay your tithe and everything will be alright. Pastor, if I pay my tithe, Everything will be alright. My son, if you pay your tithe and I pray for you, you are free like the ocean. Be still and God will fight for you. Uh -huh, my son, what really even happened? Pastor, I was washing my clothes. Hello? Hello? Hello, good afternoon. You do MC, right? Yes, I do MC. That is what I do for a living. Very good. My name is Late Chief Oba. You MC at my burial ceremony last year. Eh? Jesus. I just paid 500,000 Naira into your account. We are having a show here tomorrow. You are going to be the MC. Eh? I don't understand. My friend, listen. We've already paid 500,000 Naira into your account. You get the balance when you come. I have to go now. It is too hot here. But Sam is already giving his speech. No, wait, wait, wait. Where am I coming to? And how am I going to come here? I came here when I had an accident and died. But if you can't come like that, then I'll come and pick you. Hey! No! <laughs> Pastor, if I pay my tithe, will he still come and pick me? Pay your tithe where? To who? Pastor! Ah, who's your pastor? <laughs> ah, pastor! I'm not doing it again. <laughs> tolo, tolo, where you they go? This your guy, all I for sure. And do you remember me? I'm the. Look at that, Mr. S. is acting like Toro Toro. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you not laughing? Is it not fun? Do you know me? Do you know that I had mistress is my mother? And I'm going to report to you right now. Do you know me? Do you know my name? Do you know the class I am? Thank God, I'm going home. <laughs> see, 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 see. You think your house is. I know your face. I'm going to report you to the headmistress. This is not my real face, so. Look at my real face. Sir. Keep your
your head well. Keep your head well. I will chuck this inside your eye now. Keep your head well. Sit down. Mom, what you going to do now? If you don't keep this head well now, I'll help you and break it. Keep your head well. Keep, keep this head like human being. <laughs> keep your head well. Keep your head well now. Sit down well and keep your head well. Stop, stop doing your head like Onuku. <laughs> oh, keep your head well now. Manuela, don't your uncle Mackenzie give you food at home? I think you have to. How, ma how many times did you beat me today? You could have to do. <laughs> <laughs> you keep your head well. Oh, this thing will tell your eye now. <laughs> Sit down well. Keep this head well, I beg. I will just break your neck here now. Keep your head well. <laughs> Emanuela, don't you have manners? Is this out of your? But I did. But you did. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Nonsense. Keep your head well. Let me lose this and get out of here, I beg. <clears throat> don't swallow me here. Don't swallow me. Don't <laughs> worry. I will not swallow you. I don't eat frog. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Alone. Leave my life alone. Uh -uh. So, Mark, you're saying I should live your life alone? Mm. And you know, I've been with you through your hard times. Mark, when you were broke, I was there with you. When you didn't have food to eat, I was there with you. When you didn't even have a job, I was there with you. Uncle, this auntie is right. When you were sick, she was there. Oh, thank God. When? You had accident in Lagos. This auntie was there. Thank you. Tell him. When Facebook blocked your account, they wanted to kill yourself. She was there. God will bless you. Amen. Every time things are not going well with you, this auntie is always there. Exactly. Let me advise you. Mm -hmm. This auntie is bad luck. Jesus. <laughs> eh? Yes, now. Brother, good afternoon. We are task force and we are from Obia, but local government council. We are here for environmental living. Oga, oh beg, I beg. This place is a fitness center. What are you fitting? <laughs> Come on, go and get our money. <laughs> hmm. The people that own this place, they're inside this place, they are working out. Uh -huh. If they are working out, are we not working? Are we? Are we here to play? Are we playing? Do we look like players? My friend, go and bring out our money. I'm not going anywhere. Oga, okay, go and tell them that Obia poor people are here. Go and tell them. Go and tell them. Go and tell them you are here. Go and tell them. I won't tell them. Go and tell them. Come on. Go and tell them. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. I said go and tell them. Okay, I'm not telling them. Hey. My friend, go inside and tell them. Go and tell go them. Go and tell them you are here. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, you come and tell them. Go and tell them. I won't tell them anything. Go and tell them. Come on. You are here. Go and tell them. Scorpion, see these people. Go on. Go on. Over tell Jesus. Them. Go and tell them. Jesus died for sinful world. Go on. Come on, clap to the glory of God. <laughs> Who are these people? It's not these people that say they are from something, something local government. We are from Obia Boy International Church. We are evangelists. It's a lie. They had to collect. Um, they say they are task collectors. Okay. God bless you. It's like all of you that are here, you are born again. Yeah, I think so. Let's go to the other shop and preach the gospel. Go where? Come here. Oh, God. Hey! Hello, <laughs> Auntie 
Jeberi, hmm? please sit down here. Why? Please don't sit down here. Why now? Please, please sit down here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. This is social distancing. Okay. COVID 19 is looking for a way to travel from one place to another. Yes. And it needs our help. If we do not help it, it will not travel from one place to another. Hey, yeah. Let's help him now. <coughs> Who is he? Hey, Barry. <laughs> COVID 19 is the disease caused by the novel coronavirus. Coronavirus? God forbid. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. <laughs> eh, cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. But maintain social distancing. Yes, and when you want to cough, you cough into your sleeve. After touching any surface, wash your hand with soap and water or use alcohol-based sanitizer. Yes. But wait, how do we know somebody has contacted this virus? See, the person will have dry cough, sore throat, high fever, and difficulty in breathing. <coughs> <laughs> Are you having sore throat? No. Ha, ah, thank God. Stay in your house. Stay safe. Bye bye. And I'll stop coming to visit you. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so happy! 500k! What is it? That guy I told you about. Which guy? I promised to get my iPhone 11 Pro. Yes, 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 yes. I promised to get my iPhone 11 Pro. Are you serious? Oh my god, I'm going to get my iPhone 11 Pro. iPhone 11 Pro! What's a very way to? Are you going to use this 500,000 naira to get the iPhone 11 Pro? Yes, now. Uh uh. I cannot wait to get my iPhone 11. But Ibrahim, are you not the same person that told me that your house rent has expired? And your landlord threatened to throw you out of the house on Monday if you don't pay your house mm, rent. It's true. But I'm still going to get my iPhone 11 Pro. <laughs> don't you know that if I'm holding iPhone 11 Pro and I see the phone in my hand, they will see it and know I'm a big girl. And if I'm holding the iPhone 11 Pro to go and look for a contract, when they see the iPhone 11 Pro in my hand, they will know I'm a big girl and give me the contract. Mm. Ibrahim. Hey, are you a contractor? No. But what if I'm a contractor in the future? I'm getting my iPhone 11 Pro! Baby, you better use that money and pay your house rent too. I'm using the money to get my iPhone 11 Pro. You're jealous. That's why you're advising me wrongly. Eh, hey, Sammy, excuse me. Any problem? Sammy, I have 500... See, Sammy, wait! Sammy. <laughs> I have 500,000 to buy iPhone 11 Pro. Uh -huh. And I need to pay my house rent. Which one will I do? Uh, it's simple now. Use the money to pay your house. Wait. If I buy the phone and people see it in my hand, they will know I'm a big girl. Okay. And if I hold the phone and go and look for a contract, and they see the phone in my hand, they will know I'm a big girl and give me the contract. Uh... And say, Barry, use the money and buy iPhone. Oh. Eh? Eh, hey, nah. I think your landlord to chase you out of the house on Monday. Mm -hmm. And the iPhone has Apple Store. Yes. Simple. Buy the iPhone and be leaving the store. Eh? <laughs> Success! Uh -huh. I don't even have a job. So you can walk in the store and sell iPhone. <laughs> it's not good for you. You will be working from home. We are talking about how to stop coronavirus. You are talking about iPhone. See your scatter, scatter hair. I'm sure you have coronavirus. <laughs> if like, don't use that money and pay your house rent and stay at home. It's not only iPhone 11 Pro, it's COVID-19 Pro. <laughs> see, see, I don't have, I don't have Success! Success! Yeah, brother! Please come! Well, good afternoon. Uh -huh, success! See, eh? Go to Machi the Master. Get me a cup of rice. It is sold at 17 naira. This is 100 naira. So they'll give you 30 naira change. Bring the change. 
What is the problem? That Naira change will remain. Eh? Uh-huh. What will you do with him? Oh, okay. <laughs> Take the change. I dash you. Well, I thank you. Hurry up, eh? I'm preparing stew already. Uncle, I did not buy the rice room. Why? They say one cup of rice is 100 naira. But I gave you 100 naira. You gave me 17 naira. 13 naira is my own. You dash me. See, that is my biscuit. Success! I have finished preparing stew. What am I going to eat? Take your 17 naira change. <laughs> what will I do with 17 naira? Use it and buy noodles. Noodles with stew? Sorry, you. Me, I'm just trying to help. We had a deal. <laughs> Open this gate, it's the landlord. Open this gate, it's landlord. Open this gate, it's landlord. Landlord, my uncle is not around. Are you sure? Yes, he just told me. <laughs> no, he didn't told me. <laughs> Where went he? <laughs> no, he's dropping lipstick. Lipstick? <laughs> That's right. No, he's jumping up. Jumping for what? <laughs> He's praying. Praying? And he's killing himself. Huh? He's pooing. Huh? Uncle, go and pooing in the toilet now. Diva. Yes, sir. Please, can I borrow 1,000 naira from you? I've not eaten since yesterday. And there is nobody at home. Please, all my stomach is paining me. Just 1,000 naira. I promise I'll pay you back. Please. No problem. I'll give you 1,000 naira. If you give me your Apple phone as a collateral. I should give you my Apple phone. Yes, because I'm not sure you'll pay me back. So if you give me your Apple phone as a collateral, I'll give you 1,000 naira. No, I'll pay you back. I'll pay you back. You're not serious. Ha! Look at this girl. Look. So go with 1,000 naira, I should give you my Apple phone. And you don't even have it. <laughs> even Black Panther will not collect my Apple phone for 1,000 naira. <laughs> hey baby, what is it now? Can you imagine this girl? Just because I asked her for just 1,000 naira. I'm not eating this money, all my stomach is paining me and she asked me to give her my Apple phone. Can you imagine? Just go with 1,000 naira. Hey. And what is it? Success, I'm very hungry. Since last night, I've not eaten. And though my stomach is paining me, and I don't have money, I'm the only person in the house. But you have apple. How? The apple at the back of your phone. <laughs> is that in there not apple? It will remain one. Success, do you know you're very stupid? Eh? Yes, you're very stupid. Success, this is an apple phone. You cannot eat the apple. Apple phone that someone cannot eat the apple. Is that what apple phone? <laughs> If you like don't and sell this phone and bury apple and eat, stay there hungry will kill you. It's only you that know what is wrong with you. Carry big money and go and buy apple that you cannot eat. <laughs> See the apple self, someone will even buy it. It's not even full apple. People like you are the problem we have in this country. <laughs> Please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Help my blind uncle, sir. Please. God bless you, sir. God, God will bless you, sir. Please, sir. God will bless you, sir. God will bless you, sir. Please, sir. Please, please, please. Help my blind uncle, please. Anything you have, sir. Nothing is too small. Anything you have, God will bless you, sir. God will bless you, sir. Please, 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 uncle, sir. Please, sir. Please, please. Help my blind uncle, please. Please, anyone, anyone, sir. Anyone, sir. Anyone, please. God will bless you. Uncle, wait. Be generous. Hey, I have to thank you. I have to thank you. I have to thank 
Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. 4,000. 4,000. You have changed our life. We're not going to beg again. These people have changed our life. Let's be going. Let's be going. We're not going to beg again. These people have changed our life. 4,000. And thank you. Uncle, oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Wow, Emanuela, that was so generous of you. See how you've used me to change somebody's life. Actually, that was not my money. It was your money. How? When you were trying to take money from your pocket, your wallet fell down. <laughs> so I took the money inside your wallet and gave it to you. I know you are looking for it. That's why I brought it out so I can give it to the beggars. Look <laughs> at <laughs> your wallet on the floor. <laughs> Be generous. <laughs> You said your boyfriend have not called today. What happened? That one. Uh huh. Can you imagine? He called me yesterday and said it's over. Ah! Why? That he's in love with someone that he wants to end up with. He cannot end up with me. So you mean after wasting two good years with Kelvin, he still ended up not marrying you? Babe, see, I don't understand. Why won't Kelvin marry me after being with me for so long? And to be with you for so long, you know, I'm not freezing to marry you. After all, Otelola's daughter wasted five years in business school and she ended up as a DJ. My friend, my father is not Otelola and I'm not copy. Obviously, you wish. My dear, leave this girl. Your own is even better. My stupid boyfriend is broke from January to December. I told this boy to get me my cream. He said he does not have money. Mm-hmm. I had to reduce my cream. Now I'm using a cream of 60,000 naira. He still said he does not have money. 60,000 naira for only body cream? Eh? Uh-huh. Wait, though. Auntie, do you have skin cancer? Eh? <laughs> success. <laughs> because I'm not understanding. See, success. I'm an expensive girl. Any guy that cannot afford me doesn't deserve to be with me. Period. My dad, as I was saying, he's not even that one that is paining me. The one that is paining me now is that tomorrow is my dad's 56th birthday. And I told him to get my dad a cake. He said he does not have money. Come on, cake. It's not his mate that is getting their girlfriend's parents, iPhone and Benz. Like, I don't understand. So he's trying to say my dad should know he's a cake to celebrate his 56th birthday. Come on, cake. At 26, he's still broke. At 26, his mates are rich and he's broke. Mito, auntie, you expect your boyfriend to be rich in his 20s. Uh-huh. But your father is still broke in his 50s. <laughs> auntie, fear God. Fear God. Fear God! Look, success, my dad is not broke. Being rich is not what you have in your pocket. It's what you have inside of you. Okay. What you have inside you? Uh-huh. I let your father use his kidney and buy cake for his bed. <laughs> but don't you have kidney inside him? <laughs> so as you are now, I have something inside you. And you cannot use and buy body cream for yourself. Ah. Motivational speaker. It's people like you that is misleading you on social media. You have something inside you and you are looking like low body shawarma. <laughs> Success, what is it? That they buy my Christmas cookie night that I say early you. Not after now, he said that things are very cold. So says, how many times will I tell you that there is no money for Christmas clothes this year? Eh? I am broke. I am very broke. Uh-uh. We'll manage the old ones we have here now. But I'm not wearing those clothes again. Eh? Those clothes are old. So says, are you not hearing what I'm saying? I said I am broke. I am broke right now. Uh-uh. Stop being childish now. Mono de child. So says, how old are you? Five. You are five and you're still behaving childish. See, let me tell you. Childishness ends as four. After four, you are no more childish. You are stupid. You are very stupid. Rubbish. Daddy, how old are you? I'm 29. And you are broke. <laughs> See, let me tell you something. Being broke ends at 24. After 24, you are no more broke. You are poor. <laughs> Other people are getting rich, that's what I got. <laughs> Hi! God, who did I offend? <laughs> <laughs> Mod Kachi, 
You're getting fat too. Me? Getting fat? How can you say that? I'm not getting fat. Though. I said you're getting fat. See, you better stop that. I said I'm not getting fat. <laughs> Me that is tall and plumpy. You say I'm getting fat. I don't like that though. You better stop it. You better mind your own business. Uh -huh, Manila, come. Auntie, good afternoon. Welcome. Auntie, good good afternoon. afternoon. Emanuela. Auntie. Look at me. Am I getting fat? <laughs> mm -hmm. Look. Hmm. You are not getting fat. You are already fat. <laughs> come on, go to your house. <laughs> I'm not getting fat. I'm only adding flesh. Yes, fat flesh. <laughs> Look at this little girl. Do you know what it means to be fat? See, Auntie. I know five fat people in this compound, and you're true of them. Shut up, me. You better start drinking slim cure. <laughs> Next. Oh, Mark Angel. You're here? Yes, Pastor. I'll be with you in a minute, you hear? Okay, sir. Emanuela, how are you? I'm fine, Pastor. Sister Buki? Yes, Pastor. You're looking good, eh? Thank you, sir. Brother, come. What can the Lord do for you? Pastor, I'm an importer. I, I import goods. But since last year, August, nobody has ever come to buy my goose. I don't know what is happening. It must be the work of the enemies. The Bible says they shall gather. But as long as they gather is not of the Lord, they must surely scatter. Yes, Pastor. Do you pay your tithe? Pastor, I pay all my tithe. The Bible says, those who believe in the Lord, they shall be established. But if you believe in the prophet, you shall prosper. My son, I'm going to give you an assignment. You remember the woman in the Bible that gave Elijah a cup of oil and she received overflow. As you do this thing I'm going to tell you now, you will receive overflow. You're going to give me one of your goose. I will consume it. As I consume it, people will start consuming your goose. Amen. In fact, you give me two of your goose. One at the altar, I'll consume one. As I keep looking at it, people will start consuming your goose. Amen. Pastor, wait. Okay, Chiku. In the shop. Bring two goose to the church. Yes. One for the pastor, one at the other. Before I go, 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 immediately. Pastor, they are bringing it. My son, I love your faith. The Bible says Abraham believed God and it was counted for him for righteousness. Your faith shall make a way for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor, if this works out, I will give 5 million naira to Lee. the church. My son, I have been in the ministry for 15 years. This must work out. Come, let me pray for you. My son, as I consume your goods, people will consume your goods. Amen. Every covering cast, I remove it. I remove it. Amen. I remove it. As I consume your goods myself, people will start consuming your goods. The Amen. world will consume your goods. Amen. As my family as a whole consume your goods, everybody will start consuming your goods. In Jesus' name. Amen. My son, your goods is consumable. Stand up. I am the oracle of God. Any goose I consume, people consume it. What nonsense! <laughs> ah, are you here with the goose? Or you pack and bring it inside the church? Pastor, they are here with the goose already. Wow! So quick, you are a man of faith. Your faith will make a way for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> By the way, my son, what kind of goose do you sell? Pastor, I import coffin for burial. <laughs> <laughs> As in, I import designer's casket for funerals. Jesus! <laughs> they are bringing your own inside. <laughs> Brother, oh, no way. Pastor, who is your pastor? Excuse me, please. Where is Ebenezer Street? Ebenezer Street. I think it's no. It's like this. Street. Go down, 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 down. Is this still far? No, just go down, 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 down. Okay, thank you. 
Sí. Sorry, please, where is Ebenezer Street? Go front. Just ask people. Just be going. Sorry, excuse me. Please, where is Ebenezer Street? Ah, uh -uh. Ebenezer. Yes, Ebenezer Street. Go. Ah, my brother, I don't list around here. <laughs> like you're coming from a very far place. Yes. Yeah. Hey, uh... Papa, where yeah, is this Ebenezer? Uh... That guy must have gone far. Hey! My <sighs> brother, come on! <sighs> hey! Run! Come, come! Hey, come fast now! Run, 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 run! <sighs> you said you're looking for a Beniza Street. Uh, yes. I asked his <sighs> papa. <sighs> he said, um, he doesn't know the place. <sighs> uh, I said I should tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep walking, eh? You can ask people in front. Eh, carry your bag now. My brother, come and carry your bag now. Yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah. Success, why did you wear the bed? Eh? As old as you are, you're still in on the bed, Success. Eh? Success, why are you giving me headache in this house? Imagine this bed. I just bought this bed new. Eh? In fact, everybody come and see, oh. Everybody come and see Success. She used to wear the bed, oh. Every morning, oh. Something was about me. Kai! Uh -uh. Oh, what is success? Success? What could be worse than people knowing that you were on the bed? Eh? What could be worse than that? Daddy, people now know that you are my father. <laughs> <laughs> what could be worse than being your daughter? <laughs> packaging that I'm packaging since nine years boys for me. <laughs> Don't look at me, you. You're not my father. He adopted me. Yeah. <laughs> Catch that again! Hold, hold that again! 